Hey guys, Andrew Phillip here. Uh, been cleaning up the shop today, and I came out, found this uh, this old sheet metal bender that I made a while back, a long while back, and I thought I'd show it to you guys in case somebody's interested in building one, because I have a lot of uh, things to say about building a better sheet metal bender. The reason I built it is because of uh, I wanted to make some boxes to store some hardware in, and I didn't like the idea of using wooden boxes. I didn't think they'd hold up the test of time. Now I think they will, because I've seen lots of other people to go that way, and they seem to work real well. But I still went with sheet metal boxes. Oh, I shot the cat messing with the camera tripod. Uh, these are the sheet metal boxes that I made here. And they open up just like this. Store your nuts and bolts inside there. It's got a lid. It's like a sliding match lid, you know, matchbox lid. And it kind of just pops closed just like that. There's another one I got out today. A bunch of washers in there. <clears throat> so uh, the bender is real simple in design. It's got this one has two clamps. Uh, one clamp is for doing the short end of the box. That's what the little clamp is. And the other clamp is for doing the long end of the box. Uh, and it's real simple to use. You clamp sheet metal into this thing with these screws here. And it uh, clamps down just like that. Here, let me grab a piece. I'll demonstrate it to you guys. So you put your sheet metal in. Clamp her down. You don't really have to go too tight with it, but I'm going to because I think it might make a better bend. Tilt the handle up so you get your desired angle. Put it back down. Undo the bolts. wrench back now you got your bend not bad it's got a nice little radius on it so it's not too sharp unfortunately it's not very accurate wherever I thought that bend was gonna be is probably not there because what happens is well, let me grab a piece of paper and demonstrate you know if you're looking at the bender uh, kind of sideways you got your clamp that goes down like that and then your folder thing that comes up folds let me, shoot, let me rip this up so yeah you got your clamp goes down like that and then the the fold the folding platform that goes like this it's not a very good demonstration I know and uh, what happens is for some reason I'm not really sure why when it's folding up it kind of pulls the paper out at the same time so it goes like this and um, in fact I actually think I do have a pretty decent idea of why the reason why is because if you look really closely right here uh, there's a step down and so these these two surfaces the surface with the sheet metal is clamped on and the bending surface they're not parallel and uh, that makes this move in like a really curvy motion that tends to pull the sheet metal out of the clamp and that makes my bends not accurate. Honestly, I wouldn't care. They're usually off, you know, less than a sixteenth of an inch. But the thing is, these boxes, they're uh, so precise, the tolerances and clearances inside of them, uh, a sixteenth of an inch makes them so once you put the box in, sometimes it doesn't come back out again. And then you have to unbend the whole thing to get the, to get the box out. In fact, I have, a, I have a few lids back here that, yeah, Here's, here's a lid that, that uh, I had that problem. It was too tight and I put a box inside of it and I couldn't get it back out again. So uh, what would I do if I were going to rebuild this? Well, uh, let me show you. First thing I would do is uh, I'd get some shim stock and uh, shim this the folding the folder plate up from the hinge. So that way this is parallel with this surface. These two surfaces are parallel. That will give me more accurate bends. Um, unfortunately I was too cheap to do that. Sorry guys. 
Uh, all right, next thing. Next thing I would do is uh, drill the holes more like precise to the size of the bolts, if you get what I'm saying. Because I drilled all these holes oversized, thinking that they would, um, you know, that way would, everything would go together nice and easy. Well, what happens is you get all this uh, backlash, I guess, uh, which um, unfortunately makes it so you can't get repeated. Messing with the tripod again. Sorry, uh, you can't get repeat repeat ah re repeatability. You can't get repeatability in your bends if uh, you don't know where exactly this is along the you know sixteenth of an inch of travel it has. This one here is much worse. Look at look at that. I I use a um, a framing square every time I tighten this down to make sure this is in the same position, which is a pain in the butt. Oh look, hey cat came up to join us. That's nice. Anyway, the other thing I would do is tightening these things down with the wrench is just a pain in the butt. And uh, when you're doing a lot of bending, it just takes forever to like get your wrench out every time and redo this all over again. Uh, and sorry guys, uh, YouTube Capture wanted to tell me that I didn't have any storage left. Oh man, I need to get a real camera. Uh, anyway, uh, when you're uh, doing these things, just buy pay the three bucks for a real handle one of those uh handle bolts or like a uh, star knob bolt oh my goodness i'll save you so much time all right i just wanted to show you guys my other bender that works a lot better real quick before i actually run out of storage and can't do any more videos what a shame uh it's on this arbor press i have cheap import i think it's a grizzly or something done a lot of modifications to it. I put in a bunch of shim stock up here to make the ram tighter. Put this thing, uh, a collar I turned on my lathe to keep uh, to keep the handle from falling out. If you've ever used one of these, you'll know what, it, what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, it's just a piece of angle iron right here. It has uh, these two tabs that clamp on the ram. That's <laughs> just a piece of oak that uh, I used my table saw, cut a groove in it, a V groove in it. Works perfectly, couldn't ask for anything better. Here, I'm gonna stick something in here. Uh, this other, oh crap. You, you do have to align the um, this thing every now and then. Yeah, so, I'm gonna stick this right here. We just press that down. It doesn't get a perfect 90. Uh, it needs to have a little bit overbend because of the spring back. But man, it's just 